All right. Um, well, this was one of the, well, this lady made one of the most favorite things we've ever had on the show. Um, this is Denise. She's from Reedsville. Good morning. Good, Good to morning. see you. Good morning. Nice to be back. Last year, um, Denise was one of the winners in our Ultimate Thanksgiving uh, dinner contest, and she made a wild rice mushroom soup that... Mm we just couldn't get enough of. So mm -hmm. delicious. You're known for that soup, I yes, know. Yes, I am. Yeah. Every holiday. You made it at <laughs> yes. Thanksgiving? Yes. Are you yep. making it for Christmas too? Well, possibly. It's uh, <laughs> The kids like it just at Thanksgiving and every oh, once okay. in a while during the summer I'll throw some in and they all come up for it. So. It is delicious. Yeah. Well, this yeah. is kind of a spin-off uh, on that. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a wild rice mushroom casserole. So a really nice holiday side dish. Um, something different than mashed potatoes and, um, you know, stuffing and things like that. So, oh, yeah. um, and lots of butter and yummy and, ooh, it's going to be really good. So, mm -hmm. all right, get us started, Denise. Okay, we're going to melt two-thirds cup of butter. Okay, no skipping on the butter, right? No. Always, always got to have enough butter. Okay, and while that's melting, we also have a couple tablespoons of butter over here in this pan. Right. right. Now this is a, a neat recipe. You said this is actually, uh, you found this in one of your family's cookbooks. Yes, my mother's uh, Women's Home Companion cookbook from 1951. Um, and I, I did do a couple of variations with it. In the original recipe, they called for milk instead of the chicken stock, but I like the chicken stock because there's so much butter in there. It kind of cuts down on the fat right. a little bit gives more. It gives so. flavor too. Yeah, yeah, yeah it yeah, does. It gives yeah. it wonderful flavor. I love looking through those old cookbooks though mm -hmm. and then kind of revising them and bringing them a little more up to date. Yeah. So our butter's melting yes. and I'm just, Picking it up from the heat because I don't want to burn it. We've got mm -hmm. 16 ounces of the pre-sliced, uh, pre-washed mushrooms. They're mm -hmm. great. They're easy. Mm -hmm. Just throw them in there. Yep. And we're also going to have two tablespoons of oh, one stuck. Two tablespoons of onions. Okay, that we're going to sauté with you that. Chopped onions, and you, you got to sauté those until they're browned. Okay, so we'll give that a few minutes. We'll just yep. let it be. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we've got this butter is melting over here. Yeah. And in that butter, we're going to put a cup of croutons and once the butter melts we're just going to toss the croutons in there we're not going to let them soak real long because that's going to be the topping of the casserole okay yeah. so you know we want the butter helps it to kind of brown up really nice sure gives it a little more flavor i don't know about you but my favorite part of the casserole is the crunchies that are on top you yes. know gotta yep. have those mm -hmm. good crunchies so these are just an ordinary like a box of a garlic herb croutons type of yeah thing? Okay. yes it's just herbs okay. and um you know i've i've used stuffing i was out of croutons so i used some of the the herb stuffing and that works fine that too. works just as well or yep. make your own croutons mm -hmm. whatever right it's all going to be good now I, I wanted to ask you because when I'm having company over, especially during the holidays, I want to get as much done ahead of time as I can, you mm -hmm. know, so this beef tenderloin can be already wrapped and stuffed and just I need to right. throw it in the oven. Um, how much of this casserole can you do ahead of time? You can pretty much do the whole thing ahead of time. Um, I would just wait on the croutons, put those on before it goes into the oven. And then and just bake it off before people get there. Yep. You know? Okay. Yep. Wonderful. Yeah. It only takes 25 to 30 minutes. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay. You just want to cook it long enough. So our ingo are about a cup of croutons, it looked like. Yep, a um, cup of croutons. With uh, a couple tablespoons of butter. Now here mm -hmm. is the, the key, and this is why we love this recipe so much. I love yes. wild rice. Wild rice can be a pain to make. It mm -hmm. takes forever, mm -hmm. ever in a it day. It does, it does, And yeah. sometimes um, I've ended up burning it because you let the liquid come down, and then you have to keep refilling the liquid. It takes a lot of liquid. Um, wild rice in a can is like the best invention ever. Best since sliced bread. I know it. You, I, I know it. it. I use it all the time. It may be a little hard to find. We know they have it for sure at Festival Foods. Yep. Open the can. It's already cooked. We're going to drain it. And yep. this is what we're going to use in our casserole. And it's the right. real Minnesota wild. I mean, it's the real stuff. Yes. Now, before we put the rice in, I'm going to go ahead and put in the flour. There's four tablespoons of flour, I believe, here. Okay. Yes, four tablespoons of flour. Okay. And just sprinkle that all around on the top. I just wanted to show everybody, it comes, uh, like a lot of canned goods, there's a liquid inside. We want to drain all that liquid out. Yeah. Kind of stir the flour in there a little bit, and then stir in the chicken stock, and you can use beef stock. Um, in the original recipe, I was saying there was, it called for milk. But um, I like to use the chicken stock. I think it gives it a little bit better flavor. I'm, I'm kind of with you on that. I think beef stock would overpower it a little bit too much. Yes, so I, yeah. I like the idea of using. Now, don't be alarmed. Um, a can of wild rice is a little pricey. Uh, mm -hmm. Four dollars, maybe? Four sixty something. Okay, I almost think five dollars a can. Yeah. Um, it is the holidays, and it's, this is going to make a nice big casserole. Um, right. We've got the mushrooms, and there's mm -hmm. a lot going on here. So yeah. um, it, it, you know, when you see that, don't get sticker shock. Yeah. Um, 
Wild rice is expensive. It just it is. is. It is, yeah. But it's so yummy. So this is thickening up really nice here now, and that's what we want. And do you want a little color on these croutons, just a little bit? Yeah, oh. a little bit if okay. you want. I mean, they brown up really nice in the oven as okay. well. Okay, I just so, don't want to burn them. So yeah, oh, we can go that. ahead beautiful. and yes, dump the wild nice rice in. Nice and bubbly, yep. Okay. Put the rice in. And you can use more rice in it if you like. Sometimes if I've got the extra cans sitting at home, I'll throw in two, two cans. Two cans, okay. Mm -hmm. So, and it, we've got a casserole dish that you can put this yes. in. Um, yep. You want an oven proof dish. And then, do you need one? I've got one too. Is that we can, the, no, this one's this fine. This one's okay. fine, yep. Okay. Yep, it can go in the oven. Okay. So, nice there we got pretty. that all mixed up. Okay. Now we're just going to simply dump that in the bowl. Mm -hmm. Get a big spoon. Oh. Um, this would be wonderful with chicken or turkey or even that yeah. beef tenderloin that we had there. Mm. I actually made this last week and I put uh, some chunks of um, smoked ham in it. Ooh. It was delicious. So it was like the meal. Yeah, the whole yeah, thing it was, was, it was the, the meal, meal with yep. the salad. Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks great. Yeah. I probably just yeah. lift it right up. Um, Thank you. All right. And then we're going to put our buttered croutons on top. Yep. Bake time on this, I'm thinking it, it doesn't take that long. No, 25, 30 minutes. And pre oven temperature? Uh, 375. Okay. Now, one of the things on the recipe, it does call for two, tab or two teaspoons of salt, but if I'm using the chicken stock or the beef stock, I don't put salt in it because there's plenty of sodium plenty in Plenty in there. Okay. Yes. All right. So, there you go. It. Wow. Simple as that. We're going to put that it. in the mm. oven mm. for half an hour. All right. And as uh, Denise said, you can make it up to that point mm -hmm. and then just put the croutons on right before you bake it. You don't want right. to put them on earlier than that because then they're going to get mushy on you. Yeah, yeah. Pretty casserole dish. Mm -hmm. We love that. Thank you. And there, so there you go. It is. Oh my there it gosh. Is. Oh, yes. my husband, Bob, would love that. He loves mm -hmm. wild rice and mushrooms. He's going to be all over that. I am so making that this holiday season. Good, good. Great. Thank and you I think so it's much for sharing. Tenderloin. I You're welcome. Too.